guys, it's Madison. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is definitely going to be one of my first videos that I'm uploading and I'm super excited about it. This is going to be our NYC apartment tour. I have wanted to do this even a full year ago when I lived in a completely different apartment, but I always just put it off and I didn't have everything I needed. It wasn't perfect, but we've been here for about a year. So we live downtown in a one bedroom. I love this apartment and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Putting it together took a long, long time. It's still not, you know, 100% done. I would have liked to put more stuff up on the walls, but um, yeah, putting together an apartment is a, it's a process. It took a long time. It also took a long time because it was really hard to pull me and Joe's style together. We spent hours on Pinterest and hanging out doing that. Um, and it was kind of shocking to see like what I would like, what he wouldn't like, what he would like and I wouldn't like. So we definitely had to, you know, and I'm not like, you know, pink loving sparkles or anything, but you know, I did give up the turquoise accents. It, <laughs> it was time to go. Yeah, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. We love the space. It came together really well. I'm really impressed. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So these are right in the hallway when you first walk in. This is a New York City and Boston map from Mapafull. This is the door. This is a basket where we keep some mail some hooks for keys purse face mask and my new little lemon mat just came in i'm so excited about that so this is what it looks like when you first walk in so over here we have a little shoe bin we have a bench with some stuff we like to hide under it here we have our closet where we hang all our winter coats extra stuff holiday stuff and then over here is one of my favorite pieces. This piece is from West Elm. It's a little entryway table. And I, this looked much more lively during winter. I had like these big winter ferns coming out and like little Christmas trees and stuff here. Since we've been gone, I haven't, I don't really know what to do with it for summer. Obviously if we were here full time, maybe I'd have like some real flowers, but then right here, we have some books, some New York books, some home decor, and some, some hand sanitizer, a candle, some cards. And this is from Target. The little tray is from Target. Candle is from Home Goods. This basket is just like extra magazines, some random coloring stuff. The basket is from Home Goods. And then over here we have um, kind of like our eating area. <laughs> so we just have a table with some chairs. These are these two windows that face inward. And then over here we just have these prints from Boston that I had in my Boston apartment my senior year. The Make Way for Ducklings. I think that's Boylston and that's Acorn Street. So I actually got these from um, a street vendor on Newberry Street, but I'm sure that if you went um, around Newberry or even just looked online at Etsy, you'd be able to find these. So we're not really huge drinkers, but um, you know, we like to host and have people over. So um, this was actually from Joe's sister who used to live in New York and she was moving. And so Joe originally had this in his first apartment. So we brought it here. So this is this little vase. I think Joe's sister got that. These are these little coasters that I got from Home Goods. This is this adorable little honey jar. I thought this was so cute. I got this at um, a white elephant and it's from Moonspoon. It's super cute. Oops. And then over here, I just have this picture of me and my grandparents, which is like super random to have over here. Um, but it's like a floating, Frame. that's from Target. This lamp is super old. I've had this since high school. I'm pretty sure that's from Target too. And then down here, we just have some alcohol, 
some, some cups. And then here we have some games and place settings. And I think the bar cart is from Pottery Barn, I believe. And then coming into the living room, what's kind of bummy about um, the living room is that it doesn't get a lot of natural light. So it's always pretty dark in here, which is why we have the two lamps going. There's no lights, so it's kind of tricky, but we made it work. So then coming into the living room over here, this is what it looks like. Right over here, we have this lamp. This lamp is from Target. I love the wood finish that goes with it. And then I, I just had to fluff that pillow because it was annoying me. <laughs> um, and then we have our little couch and a little side table. The couch, the, cou the couch is from West Elm. Um, these pillows, Joe's mom got us these pillows. They don't have a tag. If I find them, I can link them below, but they're these like really soft cashmere. So the couch is from West Elm. The white rug, which oof, we were told no to the white rug, but I you can't really tell on camera, but it's actually really clean. Um, we took really good care of this this year. I thought it just brightened up the room a ton. And then this little table Joe got, I'm not entirely sure where it's from. I can link it below, but it's really cute very simple um i originally was gonna get a big coffee table to go here but thinking about it now i'm happy we just had this little thing it gives us a lot more space and i feel like the coffee table would have just gotten really cluttered the one that i had ordered didn't end up being the color that it was online so i'm actually happy that we just ended up getting this because we can move it out of the way if we have people over it just creates more room and then over here we have the tv and the entertainment unit or tv stand whatever <laughs> in the corner we just have a little basket with blankets the basket is from home goods the blanket is from pottery barn and then we have this piece and this actually matches the um entryway table and we have a little record player um some books like photo books and then our tv and we have a little roku that goes with it and so now i'm going to take you to the kitchen so this is our kitchen it's this island um and this was a really tricky height to find stools i had a really hard time they i they were some of them were just too short or too high but i found these both off amazon one thing that i really don't like about this kitchen is that the, all the cabinets have this clear coat, which I would have really liked it if it was just all white. I think it looks super messy, um, but yeah, you, you do make do with what you can. Over here, we just have our little calendar um, looking, looking pretty um, empty, <laughs> but anyway, so we have the fridge and then we have some storage under here. Pretty good counter space. And then we just have some soap, sponges. Typically we have like our Vitamix and stuff here, but that's actually at, um, all right, we brought it to the Airbnb where we're staying. So we just got this little guy temporarily so we can still make some smoothies, little fruit bowl here, and then just this little tray with some candles. And over there are some cookbooks. And over here we have the oven. Right under here is the dishwasher. Here is the, our Nespresso machine, milk frother. These are amazing, completely life-changing, totally recommend them. And just some balsamic olive oil. And then this one um, for like some homemade salad dressing or whatever you want. And I don't know if I like go through all the drawers. I don't know if people really do that. Um, and then here, just some like utensils, um, towels. This this one's like more utensils, that one's not that fun, but I'm gonna show you this one. I tried to organize the Tupperware as best I could. Um, let's see, and then, and then under the sink, we just have some trash, some cleaning stuff. Yeah, not that, not that fun down there. 
All right, so now I'm going to take you to this part of the apartment. So we have some maps. We have this mirror right here, which I always take pictures in before I go out or used to go out. And then our bookshelf right there, some pictures, candle. And then this picture frame, I can't remember where I got the white one, I've had it so long. This is from Le Labo. The maps were from a little store, or the Cambridge maps at least, were from a little store in Cambridge. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but I think you can definitely just order these on Etsy and search like black, black frame if you want. And then this I've gotten a few questions about. This frame is from Urban Outfitters and these are just little Fujifilm prints. So now to the bathroom. You walk in, there's a little map here of San Fran. White sheet, not white sheet, oh my gosh, white curtain. <laughs> And this shower is pretty awesome. Just some shower stuff. And yeah, toilet. <laughs> so the cool thing about this bathroom is that each one of these little panels opens up and it is a ton of storage. So over here is Joe's little cabinet. And then here is my cabinet, girls vs. boys, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, up here I have some like skin stuff, body spray. This is all hair care for the most part. Here is some, honestly the whole, this both of these drawers are skincare. Um, I'm a huge Drunk Elephant fan. Lots of girl stuff going on. <laughs> anyway, so. Then we're gonna come out of the bathroom and then this is the bedroom. So let's start over here. Here is Joe's side with his um, nightstand, some books, a little picture. The nightstands, I will have to link these below. They're kind of like West Elm dupes. The lamp is from Amazon, I'm pretty sure. The frame is from Urban. Then, actually, I can do the closet first. So then we have this closet and people. Last year, let me turn the light on. Last year, I had no closet in my apartment. Sis, we upgraded. Let me tell you. So over here is kind of like a mix of Joe and my stuff. This is some of Joe's stuff here, some rain boots, and then. This is laundry and this thing actually fit so perfectly. There's two sides in this with the removable um, laundry bags and it fits perfectly. So then your laundry is not out and about. This is Joe's, two of Joe's shelves, two of my shelves. And then over here, just have some hats hanging. Up here, we have some towels, extra bags. Some more extra bags, some um, watches, glasses, some sweaters I still need to put away. Yeah, and then this is um, extra bedding. And then this is kind of like tape, nails, um, like hardware. I don't know what you necessarily call that. Anyway, but yeah, walk-in closet is awesome. Obsessed. Oh, I totally forgot this this guy is from ikea i put this together myself i lost seven years off my life trying to put this together i've had this mm, i think i've had this since i lived in boston and it's pretty good storage and these are really awesome these are from the container store and they can just split your drawers up it makes it easier to organize this little shelf is from Target. Can't see that. All right, our bed, our bed frame is from Ikea. I think that will definitely be something that we change if we move apartments, um, just so it can match the rest. But you know, we felt like it, it did the job, so it was fine by us. The bedding is from Pottery Barn. 
I am obsessed with it. I love the white. I feel like white just really brightens up a room. And then our rug is from Wayfair, I believe. And then over here, here is my nightstand that I will link for you guys down below. This little mini clock. I took the batteries out of it because the ticking annoyed me so much, but I thought it was really cute. Um, that I got from TJ Maxx. Candle is from Hudson and Grace. Joe's mom got me that. I love, love, love this shell bookend. This shell bookend is also from Home Goods. And yeah, and then in here, I'll show you guys like my drawers because obviously I'm not gonna go into Joe's <laughs> Joe's drawers. Um, but I just have like a sleeping mask, some sleeping spray, medicine, my watch, my switch, um, some face mask, Purell, um, the remote to um, a fan, some jewelry, and then in here, kind of like random, like extra makeup bag, sewing kit, that kind of stuff. So then we have two really big windows. What's really awesome about this room is that the ceilings are so high, kind of hard to tell. But over here, Joe needed to add more stuff. I feel like he barely had any pictures, but I just have this um, teacher quote, a little taxi, picture my mom. This is something that my great, great grandma made that my Nana gave me for my birthday. I just think it's really beautiful. These look like so lopsided, but I swear they're not. They totally do. But yeah, these shelves, I don't remember because I've, I've honestly had them since high school. They're really old. As you can see, I either need to paint these or just get <laughs> new ones. And then... Then we have this window here, just some postcards, little pictures. This used to have a plant in it, but unfortunately when we left, it died. So I was thinking of saving this and, you know, replanting something, a little candle. And then we have this fan slash air purifier. I think this is from Dyson. Then over here we have this little um, table. This just has some extra um, makeup of mine. And then under here is some extra skincare. And then my makeup brushes. This is kind of where I usually sit and do my makeup if I'm feeling it that day. And then over here we have little frames for our colleges. And then over here is some of my favorites. This is Joe's, Joe's siblings, some succulents. I think these are from Trader Joe's mostly Trader Joe's and then this I unfortunately don't know where any of this is it's I've had these in my this one is mine I've had in my bedroom forever and then this was Joe's and I'm not sure where he got that from um but over here I have two little frames these are some sea glass frames sea glass art that I made um probably about a year ago the frames are I think I just got the frames from Home goods too. You can get really cheap white frames. This lamp is the same one that we have out in the living room. This is kind of our desktop working space. This chair belongs to the ones out there, <laughs> but um, you know, does the job in here. So this desk is from Wayfair. It took me a really long time to find because I wanted a pretty clean, um, simple white desk, but I didn't like when the desk was completely open and you could see inside of it, kind of like what I said in the kitchen. I think that kind of not being able to see what is inside makes it look much more clean. So yeah, so then this drawer is kind of just like work stuff, calculator, extra paper. And then in this drawer, some pencils, stationery, glasses, all that good stuff. We have our desktop computer, some books. This holds some stationery too. Um, a little lemon water and coaster, and then um, some pencils and pens over here. And then in this corner, um, I kind of wanted to do a chair, like a reading chair, but um, we just never got around to it. And honestly, they were all really expensive. This cork board, I originally was gonna put here, but I thought it kind of made it look messy. So not really sure what to do with that. So it's kind of found a home in this corner. Anyway, but then this basket is from also from Home Goods, and this just has some extra pillows, um, some extra blankets, um, you know, for winter time if we need one, um, some extra sheets if anybody stays over. 
and yeah so that is the bedroom all right guys and that is um the apartment tour i hope you liked it i hope you feel um like you can take some type of like inspiration from this i love looking at people's apartments and knowing where they got stuff is the best so if there's anything that i didn't mention or anything you're wondering that you want to know where it's from just ask me below i love asking people where they get stuff it's so weird um but i i love knowing because um if i like it you know i can go get it but seriously thank you if you're watching this video this is like so petrifying for me to post this um and share it but i wanted to film my apartment when i lived in the east village last time and i didn't and i just remember regretting it and feeling like oh that was such a um fun time in my life and i wish i had um shared that um i don't know where i'm going with this but yeah if you have any questions about anything let me know this is a one bedroom down downtown um we have a doorman a gym a roof so the amenities are really great yeah but i hope you guys liked it if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe and i can't wait to make another video for you guys thanks for watching